Welcome again. Right now we're at Acts chapter 12, verses 1 through 19. Peter's imprisonment and supernatural escape. Now about that time, King Herod stretched out his hands to oppress some of the assembly. Again, the word assembly here is ecclesia in the original Greek, meaning church. He killed James, the brother of John, with a sword. When he saw that it pleased the Jews, he proceeded to seize Peter also. Well, since when was Herod interested in pleasing the Jews? This was during the days of unleavened bread. Very interesting. This could have been one whole year after the crucifixion of Jesus. It could have been more than that. We're not exactly sure. But we know that Jesus was crucified around the time of unleavened bread, the Pesach, Passover. When he had arrested him, that's Peter, he put him in prison and delivered him to four squads of four soldiers each to guard him. Wow, Peter had to have 16 soldiers watching him? Intending to bring him out to the people after Passover. Peter, therefore, was kept in the prison, but, this is a big one here, but constant prayer, this is the key here, constant prayer was made by the assembly, by the church, to God for him. Since Genesis chapter 2, did God do anything without prayer preceding it? Verse 6, the same night when Herod was about to bring him out, Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains. Guards in front of the door kept the prison. So think of this. There are two soldiers, one on each side of Peter, and Peter is bound in chains. So there had to have been 14 other soldiers around the area watching over the situation, making sure that Peter didn't escape, keeping an eye on Peter. And behold, an angel of the Lord stood by him, and a light shone in the cell. He struck Peter on the side and woke him up, saying, Stand up quickly! His chains fell off his hands. The angel said to him, Get dressed and put on your sandals. He did so. He said to him, Put on your cloak and follow me. And he went out and followed him. He didn't know that what was being done by the angel was real, but he thought he saw a vision. When they were past the first and second guard, they came to the iron gate that leads to the city, which opened to them by itself. They went out and went down one street, and immediately the angel departed from him. When Peter had come to himself, he said, Now truly I know that the Lord has sent out his angel and delivered me out of the hand of Herod and from everything the Jewish people were expecting. Thinking about that, he came to the house of Mary, the mother of John, who was called Mark, where many were gathered together and were praying. When Peter knocked at the door of the gate, a servant girl named Rhoda came to answer. When she recognized Peter's voice, she didn't open the gate for joy, but ran in and reported that Peter was standing in front of the gate. They said to her, you are crazy. But she insisted that it was so. They said, it is his angel. But Peter continued knocking. When they had opened, they saw him and were amazed. But he, beckoning to them with his hand to be silent, declared to them how the Lord had brought him out of the prison. He said, tell these things to James and to the brothers. Then he departed and went to another place. Now, as soon as it was day, there was no small stir among the soldiers about what had become of Peter. When Herod had sought for him and didn't find him, he examined the guards, then commanded that they should be put to death. He went down from Judea to Caesarea and stayed there. History tells us that all but one of the original 12 apostles, the 12 disciples, were killed for their faith. The only one that died a natural death was John. That was more or less Jesus' favorite, okay? The disciple whom Jesus loved, you know, implying that the others Jesus either didn't love or didn't love as much. There was the disciple that Jesus loved, John. He's the only one that escaped martyrdom 
all of the other ones, including Peter, was killed brutally for their faith. You got to wonder. You see, God had his eyes on Peter. God was looking after Peter. God was watching over Peter. God sent his angel time and time again. But then God didn't send his angel when Peter was martyred. So don't be discouraged when something happens and you're like, God, where were you? Don't be discouraged when something happens and you're like, God, why didn't you protect me here? Well, there could be many reasons why. But remember, even most of the disciples, the original 12 disciples who walked and talked with the Lord in the flesh, had their time when they were martyred. Seek him and you will find him. Seek God with all your heart and you will find him. If you seek him with all your heart, call upon him and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.